Good afternoon. Our first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Lynn McCherley, the Eagleson Parish Church, East Renfrewshire. Good afternoon and thank you for the invitation to lead your reflections this afternoon. I'm here as a church leader speaking to politicians. And that strikes me as particularly apt in this season in the Christian calendar. This is Holy Week. For Christians, the days leading up to Easter, days when we reflect on the events that led to Jesus' death. And when we read about those events in the Gospels, it's a bit of a challenge for us. Because neither religious leaders nor politicians come out of the story with very much credit. It was the religious leaders of Jesus' time who started the proceedings against him. They were so concerned to defend their own good tradition, they couldn't tolerate someone who spoke the same truth from a fresh and different angle. So they abused their power to preserve their own interests at the expense of others. And no doubt they had lots of plausible sounding reasons to justify their actions. And then it was the politicians who finished Jesus off. They were so concerned to impose their agenda and to keep themselves in power that they settled for what was expedient rather than what was right. Again, at the expense of those they ruled. Again, perfectly justifiable by their own standards. So Holy Week is a toxic mess of politics and religion, and it shows how badly wrong things can go when these are abused, something not lacking in the world today. And yet at the heart of Easter is another example, the example of Jesus himself, someone who models a servant form of leadership, who never used power to further his own interest. Someone whose life served the needs of the people least valued by his society. And his death was an act of self-giving love. Most people who get into politics or religion don't do it because we're power mad or because we're ambitious for big salaries. There are lots of easier ways to make a living. Most of us do it because we want to change things for the better and we're easy targets for criticism. The snare of power or personal gain takes us by surprise. Often the choices before us are much more complex than they seem to outsiders and we have to examine our motives and wrestle with our consciences. At times like that, the Easter story offers us a reference point for how power can be used well or badly, and how leadership looks at its worst and at its very best. May I wish you all a well-deserved Easter break when it comes. Thank you. Thank you. We now move to topic of questions. Question one, Jenny Murray. To ask the Scottish Government for what reason